could give you this. Who is it? Bumpy. Bumpy? Yep. <laughs> that sucks. It's his birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. He's turning 40. What day is it today? It's the third. Today is the third? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Is it Thursday? No, it's Wednesday. Oh. Okay. What's wrong? Tell the boss I can't do that today. Are you crazy? I'm not crazy. Shut the fuck up! All right, quiet down. He's gonna have you killed, man. I'd rather die than kill Bumpy on the wrong day. Wrong day? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, listen. I can't kill Bumpy today because he's not supposed to die today. Well, why is that? Okay, let me give you an example. Your cycle doesn't end until three months and ten days from now. February 13th. My birthday? Yes. You're turning 60. It's a round number. It's just perfect. So, you only kill people on their birthdays? Yes, now you get it. Wait a second. Your cell is always neat. You shouldn't be sloppy just because you're locked up. Uh, you got a job cataloging books at the library. What's the problem with organizing books by theme, alphabetical order, and color? Books have a, a cycle, too. People should respect that. Have you always been like this? Like this how? Have you always had this obsession? It's not an obsession. It's a job. OK. How did you find out you're only supposed to kill people on their birthday? I killed my grandpa. He was turning a perfect 80. I didn't hurt him. I just poisoned his coffee. But I was an amateur. It was pretty late at night. He might even not have died on his birthday. Can you imagine? Oh, my God! Then, of course, my cousin. He was turning 10. OK, let's forget about your family. Yeah, sure. There's no one left anyway. Great. And don't tell me any more stories about kids or elderly that you've killed, OK? Oh, you have a soft heart. That's cute. You're in the perfect place for that. When did you start getting serious about this? I guess it was my first job. And uh, which gang are we talking about? Aryan Brotherhood? The Rednecks? Cheesecake Factory. Huh. Never heard of that one. It's the restaurant chain. What? But it was a handful. I had to follow those people home and kill them there until I stopped doing it because it was too creepy. Also, they started to get suspicious. I mean, how does everyone that celebrates their birthday at that restaurant wind up dead? Should be a problem. So I moved on. To where? DMV. So you're actually talking about a boring ass desk job. Exactly. It was a whole new level. I had access to everyone's birth dates. It was like being God's right hand man. <laughs> yeah, you're really considered. I can see that. But they had to go and get suspicious, too. So I moved on again. I was looking for a job, and a friend offered me a position as a children's party clown. Oh, man, I told you, I don't want to hear any stories about children getting killed. Don't worry, I didn't take it. Thank God. But I had to learn how to do the makeup, and the person who was teaching me, well, it was their birthday. Sure. You miss anything out there? I mean, besides trying to balance the universe. I really miss my dog. <sighs> Who's he staying with? He's staying with a neighbor, but I'm getting really concerned, though. Why? I remember during this time last year, they were having a birthday party for him. Your dog? No, dummy, the neighbor. How come you didn't kill him? Your neighbor. I was busy on another mission. I only got home after midnight. So did you adopt this dog? Like from a shelter? I didn't want to take the risk. If I'd have gotten a dog from a shelter, they might know the birth date. Of course. No, this was when, uh, from one of the DMD people. It was uh, when I realized how cruel I was being by coming to people's homes because he got so sad. I bet. I mean, and of course, the uh, deceased families probably had their hearts broken, too. Yeah. But who cares? Right. <laughs>